everybody. Well, I've had a couple of requests to record my skincare routine, and I think I'm going to have to do it into two separate videos. So, since I've started uh, this evening, I'm going to start with my night routine. Now, the first thing that I do is I take off my eye makeup, and I have these really great cotton squares. I'll show them to you here. Go a little bit closer. Um, I don't like the regular cotton rounds that you get in the drugstores. I find that they get caught in my lashes and I end up getting little pieces of the cotton. So I found online, um, this is actually a person in New York who does skin care, and her name is Simone France. I'll just show you the box. And um, I buy them in this size, and you can use them for your face, but I don't. What I do is I cut them into squares, and then I keep them um, on my counter in a little jar like that and I take them out um, individually. And what I use to take off my makeup, which I have just started using and I absolutely love, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but there's no stinging, um, it takes off every type of eye makeup, I never have a problem with it. And it's the Bioderma, the Kraline H2O. And I take that and I use those pads and I saturate the pads. I place it over my eye and just sort of pat it into place comes off really nicely. I'll turn over to the other side and then I'll lightly press it in once again. And you can see how nicely that has taken the eye makeup off. So of course then I repeat it on the other side. And again I just hold it into place and I sort of press it with my finger so that it saturates into the eyelash and into the eye makeup. see how nicely that does such a nice job there's no stinging whatsoever there's no irritation to my eyes I'm, I just I'm really crazy about it so the next thing that I do is I use the same cleanser that I use in the morning and it is my skin SkinCeuticals gentle cleanser and I take just a pump of that I add a little bit of water to it and just rub it all over my face I do go down my chin because I like to bring the foundation down into my chin and down into my neck, so to make sure that I get everything nice and clean. This has a very light citrus smell to it, but it's really pleasant and it dissipates very quickly, so I don't think it will bother anybody if you're sensitive to smells. And then I rinse that off, take my towel and just lightly pat it on my face. And then what I try to do a few times a week is I exfoliate, and I like to do it at night uh, before I do any of my treatments. And what I've been using, only because I've had it for quite a while, and I'm not sure that I would buy it again, I've gone away from the Lamia products because I find them to be very expensive. Um, I had a dermatologist tell me that if I like the cream to continue using it, but that the most of the base of the creams are mineral oil, and, and they're really incredibly overpriced. But since I did buy it, and it's a huge tube, and it lasts a really long time, um, I use about that much water to it and rub it in my fingertips and then massage it into my face. Just rub it. And these are, it's very gentle. Now I know a lot of people have been using uh, the Dermalogica product and I think I'm actually going to try that next the one that's like a powder. So the next thing that I do is I use a, um, a cream twice a day. I use it in the morning and I use it at night. And the product that I use, which I'll speak about in the morning routine also, is by Environ and it's called the Classic A. And the thing that's really nice about this company is what they do is that they do, they introduce the A in certain steps. You start out with the debut, you go to the classic, and then you increase it step by step up until you get to the highest potency. And what it's really good for, for those of you out there that have tried Retinol A products and have a real problem with your face getting too red or scaly, is that this does it in a mild form to start with, and then it builds up on your skin, so it allows your skin to build tolerance to the vitamin A, because vitamin A is really something that's important to add into your everyday routine. So this allows people that are very sensitive to be able to build up and be able to use vitamin A every day. So I take about that much, 
and I emulsify it in my fingers, between my fingers, and I do like a sort of rolling padding onto my face. And I even go down into my neck area. Now there are plenty of products out there that are specifically for neck, but my feeling is that they're probably the same basic ingredients, so whatever I have left over on my hands that I've, from applying to my face, I go right down into my neck area. And the next thing that I do is I put on a night moisturizer. Presently, I'm using the SkinCeuticals AGE Interruptive. Now the thing with the SkinCeuticals that, um, and the reason that I'm looking actually for other products, although I'm going to use this until it's done, is that uh, SkinCeuticals is now owned by L'Oreal. And I have found in doing some of the research, some of the same ingredients that are in the SkinCeutical lines are in other lines that uh, L'Oreal produces that are less expensive. So I'm not sure that I'm going to continue with this. I do like the way that my skin has reacted to it. So this is basically the cream. And I don't use a lot. I take it on my finger and I pretty much dab it on. And then I rub it in like circular motions into my skin. And you don't need a lot. I think I've said before in other videos that more is not necessarily better. And because I've exfoliated my skin, this will go in really nicely. And then from the same line is their AGE Interrupter, their eye cream. And I take a little bit of that. I use my ring finger because that's supposed to be the most gentlest way to put product on. And I tap it under my eye. Do the same on the other eye. Anything that's left, I put right on that top lip. And then the last thing that I do is I do my castor oil on my lashes. And that's the brand that I've used. It's uh, actually $4.99. I've used, my gosh, maybe a quarter of it, and I've been doing it for months already. And I take my, uh, this is a actually an eyeliner brush. And I dip it right into the bottle. And then I, I need to look a little bit to the side, but I put it on just the same way that you would put on eyeliner. I draw it right across my eye, right at the lash line. Just a very simple, thin line. And whatever's left on the brush, I brush into my brow. And then I repeat that, of course, on the other eye. That's it. That's my whole night routine. Uh, it takes no time at all. I do it every single night. Never go to bed with makeup on. Stay tuned for part two will be the morning routine.